guys, welcome back to Source Man Nerd. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Sam Bash. As the official first day of Comic Con commences, we're going to be reporting from the floor with news as soon as we're able to report it, which means probably news from yesterday. Yeah. Now, as you may or may not know, yesterday was preview night at San Diego Comic Con, where thousands flocked to the convention center to get a day early crack at all the elusive exclusives and a good chunk of time exploring the massive exhibitor hall. But also, an interview happened at the legendary booth where the director of the much-anticipated Warcraft movie, Duncan Jones, AKA David Bowie's fucking son, Ooh. in which he revealed he'd like to turn the Warcraft film series into a trilogy. Ooh. Jones also revealed that they're only 10 VFX shots away from a completed movie, even though the film doesn't come out for a whole year, June 2016 to be exact. But Jones has already shown the film to close friends he trusts, who have all said the movie was great. And have all goes well and the movie is a success, Jones and film writer Chris Metzen have spoken about the story spanning three films. Ooh. For now you can get a tiny taste of the scale and feel of the film by checking out the legendary and VFX house's Weta's booths at San Diego Comic Con, where armor and characters are on display in Grand Comic Con Fashion. And if you're brave enough to wait in line, this Saturday is the Warcraft movie panel, where most assuredly they'll be showing footage, or a trailer for the film, or some other shit. So we look forward to hearing about, or even if we're lucky, seeing that footage. <gasps> In animated news, Warner Brothers announced that they'd be re-releasing a polished and upgraded version of Brad Bird's animated classic, Iron Giant, in theaters this September 30th across the country, and then again on Sunday, October 4th, before releasing on Blu-ray as a special Iron Giant signature edition, which will feature brand new footage. Duh. Duh. I love Iron Giant. Uh, although, Sam, I love the film too, but it was considered a flop back when it came out in 1999, having cost around $70 million to make. It only made $23 million, but has since garnered a massive cult following and is truly beloved by many. Fathom Events, which is partnering with Warner Brothers to bring the heartfelt film back to the big screen CEO, had this to say about the event. Quote, we can't wait to bring this family favorite back to its home on the big screen. The Iron Giant is meant to be seen and heard in movie theaters, and this is a great chance for fans new and old to enjoy this classic, remastered with new scenes. I love me some Iron Giants and can't wait to see that bad boy on the screen this September. So that's it for this special edition of Nerd News straight from San Diego Comic-Con. But before we go, check out these creepy awesome new posters from artists Daniel Danger and Guy Davis that will be released here at the convention for Guillermo del Toro's scary horror film Crimson Peak. Those will be available from Mondo sometime this week, and we'll let you know if you can buy those babies online. So what are your thoughts on the Warcraft trilogy and Iron Giant being re-released? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Sam Basher. Superman. Superman. Iron Giant says that. Superman. Superman. So hectic and crazy, it's impossible to see everything. So, to challenge ourselves, we have a scavenger hunt and we have to find everything on the list within 30 minutes. Let's do this. Let's do it. Kale, how are you doing? You're, you're gearing up for Comic Con? Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a lot of great interviews lined up. You guys got super offended when I said that I'm not going to do the Orphan Black one. Because it's an show. incredible show and I can't believe that you don't watch and it. And Mikhail Huseman is just like. I also have not I seen Orphan bit Black. My lip. You literally <laughs> bit your lip.